From a crazy hit of detail in the Lego mode to an insane Family Guy reference, here are 50 more secrets and Easter eggs in Fortnite. If you land at Grand Glacier, you can now find the most hilarious chest ever. There's giant bushes shaped like a deer, but look behind it and who did this? This ain't no accident. When we asked Fortnite to explain themselves, they replied saying, it'd be a pain in the butt. But if you prefer to land at an underground hideout, there is one object you should keep an eye on. Each safe house has a whiteboard with all the bosses pinned on it, except Peter Griffin. But keep watching as the match goes on because when they're taken down by a player, they'll get crossed out. And if you own John Wick's official skin, you're lucky to get two secret edit styles with the new season. These didn't just change his hair and clothes, they also cut off his fingers. Spoiler alert, he has to chop it off in the third film, and they carry the detail over to his new styles in Fortnite. And that's not the only great reference in Chapter 5, because the Family Guy set is full of them. From the iconic Peter Copter to the wacky waivers, but my personal favorite is the Scratcher. We all know what it's for. Can't you but scratch a hair, but scratch a It's not just collabs Fortnite's been referencing this season, sometimes it's themselves. If you've been playing the Lego mode, you'll know the insane amount of dialogue there is with hundreds of NPCs. In fact, there is 50,000 lines of dialogue. And if you have Aura, she might say she gets so mad she wants to flip an entire island upside down. If you know, you know. It doesn't stop there, speak with Meowsles, and there's a small chance to tell you how he's nervous about anything shaped like a cube. I think we all know what he's referring to. But if you're playing Battle Royale instead and think the train is kind of useless, you probably don't know the secret that everyone's missing. Once the train is claimed, it seems pretty useless other than trans transport, right? Well, what if I told you the loot actually refills? Yes, after the cash has been claimed, it'll pass through two more stations before resetting, allowing you to hack it all over again for more loot. With the new jam tracks, there's tons of new songs coming to the game every week, but one of them might be familiar than the rest. You can now catch Belle Biv DeVoe on rotation in the shop, and this is actually the music that Turk dances to in Scrubs. Recognize it? Yes, it is the iconic default dance, and now we can finally recreate it entirely in game. Another cool cosmetic can be found in this season's battle pass. The foil flex emote brings out Nisha's fencing sword, and at first glance, it looks like a standard emote, but it changes. Depending on your elims in the match, you'll draw out a different number in the air from zero all the way up to 100. But one thing has taken the community by storm after it was discovered hiding on the chapter five map. In the north, you can find Cloister Castle secluded on a rock, but this place has way more than you can imagine. On the top floor, you can find Midas' office chair straight from his room in chapter two. It's looking out over the island, leaving many people wondering if he's returned. And if you're skeptical, that's not the only evidence pointing towards Midas coming back. Over at Grand Glacier, check out the elevator. Sure, it doesn't work, but it does have the same doors as the agency. We first saw these in the top secret trailer, and they were never used the game until today. So something's definitely going on here. And if you're defeating the Peter Griffin boss and wondering why he isn't wearing his iconic clothes, it's actually a real outfit from the show. In the Lottery Fever episode, the Griffins win $150 million, and of course, Peter spends half of it on a solid gold tuxedo. Not the only detail you should pay attention to on the map right now, because one of the signs is leaking an upcoming update. Take a look at the information boards at train stations, and you'll notice the map is very different. Half of the snow biome is planned to melt later this season, uncovering Rebel's Roost, the Lavish Lair, and Classy Quartz. Even Hazy Hillside is gonna melt, which has a lot of people upset since the town looks so perfect in the snow. And that's not the only crazy detail to train stations, each of them has their own language. Because the map is inspired by parts of Europe, you can find French, German, Greek, and Italian areas split across the island. So when you visit one station, the announcements can be in French and the next in Greek, no matter what your language is set to. One of the creepiest secrets you can find this season is by using a contrail. These things are pretty underrated, especially when Epic adds details like Oscars. Not only do you get claws to scratch through the sky, but you can see his eyes stalking you through the shadow just like a real tiger. And that's not the only animal on the island. You could also find the return of Thunder. Yep, everyone's favorite lizard is back and he's running his business just like before. Now he has two sushi restaurants and docks around the map where you can grab a quick meal and even hear thunder roll playing in the background. In fact, there are so many returning characters this season, it's hard to keep track. If you head over to the northeast corner of the map, you can find a bunch of wind turbines and a small oil platform. Obviously, a great callback to the rig from chapter two, but after some exploring inside, you can find Tiantina's helmet resting on a chair. There's even a reference to the imagined order hidden away in Lego Fortnite. When exploring your world, you can find randomly generated structures like villages, caves, or broken down houses, but 
but one of them is insanely rare to find, the IO Bunker. It's the classic hatch from chapter one and two, and now people are starting to discover them in LEGO. And if you're waiting for the release of Solid Snake later this season, there's also some exclusive gameplay coming with him. The trailer showed us that the creeping cardboard will return, but this time with a makeover. It's now a box of oranges to hide in, which is exactly what Snake does in the Metal Gear Solid games. There's also some secrets in Fortnite Festival. Load into the main stage, and before you cue your songs, take a second to explore the theater, cause there is an evil plot hiding behind you. Head up into the left stands, and you can find a bird and cat plushie who are planning to kill someone. Yeah, definitely creepy. We're all familiar with the new update to healing this season, with meds giving you what you need and discarding the rest, but pay attention when drinking a big shield. You'll throw it on the ground, but it doesn't just vanish, it actually smashes, and you can hear the glass shatter all over the floor. And it's not just meds are dropping on the ground either, it's also cards. Yeah, one of the emotes in the battle pass is literally a calling card drop, so you can leave a mark after an elim. But what most people haven't realized is that it's customizable. The icon uses your current banner, and the color reflects which one you have selected too, giving this emote thousands of combinations. If you're feeling lost on the brand new map, simply equip Adventure Peely's Back Bling. The Nana Compass isn't just adorable, it actually functions, pointing north, east, south, or west, depending on which way you're facing in a match. It's not the only hit of Feature right now. While the medallions are useful for constant shield regen, they also provide another perk that nobody's noticed. Along with the guards and bosses at the society's POIs, there's also a bunch of cameras and turrets. Pretty annoying if you don't want to get lasered, but don't worry because carrying any medallion in your inventory will make them ignore you. Something you don't want to ignore though is the secret loot cave. On the far east of the island, you can find a small cave in the rocks, climb through the tunnels and passageways before finally swimming under the water to reach a giant opening. This place looks crazy, and to make it even better, it's filled with chess and our beloved friends, the Coral Buddies. Now there's another secret that requires you to use two cosmetics at once. If you're wearing Nisha and have her sword equipped, not only will it disappear from her belt, but it also has a unique animation for it that's completely accurate to real life fencing. And one of the most underrated secrets is in Fortnite's Lego mode. Over 1,000 skins got added, but out of all of them, there's only one icon series, Mr. Beast. If you find yourself at a society POI with some time before the storm closes, take a look at the paintings around the place. There's Princess Fishstick's homeworld, a bunch of Fortnite fish in a barrel, and even a picture of ruined reels before it was ruined, giving us a glimpse at a POI we'll probably never get to see. Just like you can see a crash train on the map right now. Turns out the one going around the island wasn't the only train, because if you head to the underground HQ, you'll realize it's actually an abandoned metro station. Check out both ends of the tunnel and you'll find carriages crushed under rubble. Maybe they'll get fixed in a future season and give us a new railway. The leader of the underground could also be found here, Vengeance Jones. He's one of the best skins in the battle pass, and just like all of the other versions of Jonesy, there is plenty of secrets hidden on his outfit. This time you can spot a wanted poster for him on the weapon kit, badges on his collar, and most importantly, dog tags around his neck. They're a neat callback to the original defaults who had all these necklaces from chapter one. But even before Fortnite began, a lot of people were playing games like Rock Band, and now that Fortnite Festival is here, players are begging Epic to add support for instrument controllers like a guitar or drums. They're already ahead of us, working on it for a future update of the mode in early 2024. And if you're hopping in there to rock out to the weekend, you might be wondering what the EXO Cosmetics are all about. Well, it's the name of his record label, which he founded himself, and now he's got things like the EXO and other EXO themed items in the game. Pretty cool to know. That is 50 more secrets in Fortnite. It has been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.